what we're doing today is we have a slack tide we're out in deep water application catching bait and what I like to do is I like to keep the motor in reverse and what it does and I'll show you here in just a second is it keeps it in it, the, the boat in reverse actually keeps a false current going and what happens is the bait fish think that the tide is moving so they come right up into the false current they're literally right below the surface I'm getting ready to throw the net I can see them right here to my left. They're absolutely loaded up. I'm gonna throw the net and show you what it does by creating false current. When you create the false current, instead of the tide being slack and the chum just going straight down and the bait fish kind of spread out, this allows the, the, the bait fish to come into this, to this false current and it lets us chum these bait fish right into where we wanna throw the net. That's what you want to do. And we're done. Best look of the day so far. Chad's jealous because he's got his red or his trout and his his snook. I've got. <laughs> I mean, he can't even hold his bodily functions. He's so but smart. I've got the redfish. Now I need my trout. Oh, uh -oh. double up. And um, Chad's whining. Oh, look at how small. I don't care how small it is. It's he, still my redfish. Look, I'm gonna I'm about to wipe it all over you. Just keep it up. Then Alan's got one. And he's got. Is it a snook? Yep. What are we up to about? What? Could you easily say about 25 fish? Easy? Yeah. Well, we're coming up to a major feeding time. Uh, we had a triple on. And just Chad just caught one right, I mean, literally right next to the boat. Got a, quite a bit of fish around the boat. We were waiting for this time, so we have good tidal flow. We've got an incoming tide. We've got a major feeding time starting right about now. Um, the fish, uh, Alan's got another one as I'm talking. Uh, so it's just, we've been sitting here for about an hour and um, We've been pulling in snook, reds, and trout, one red, and, and trout. So they're really starting to turn on, and it should only get better as, this, as we get into this major feeding time.
decided to go snapper fishing and Chad just pulled one in about two and a half. <laughs> he almost went out of the boat. That one's about two and a half, three pounds. We're out snapper fishing right now and the bite has been unbelievable. But the bite's been pretty consistent. But we've done one thing other that's helping this at least is uh, we've got that bucket full of chum that I was talking about earlier and uh, just chumming them up and actually you can see them on the screen where we've got them off the bottom a little bit you can't see it because the water is really dirty I don't even think I'm gonna there's Chad's hooked up oh come on man come on you're catching that on camera There you go. Chad is in fuego. Nice one. Yeah. There you go. Now, folks, you got to remember this is January 4th, 3rd. And we're catching snapper. And they're here. Yeah, 3rd or 4th? 3rd. No, because the 5th is Monday. So it's the 3rd. We're catching snapper in the middle of January. These fish, we found that they don't. They don't leave. We thought they left. The snapper left in the in the winter time, but no, they don't. They uh, they stick around, and and as you see, you can get some nice ones. But the key is 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 chumming. I mean, that's the biggest key is getting that getting the dead bait and just chumming with it, and getting the fish off the bottom and all fired up. We've caught a couple of fish that are actually spitting out chummers, so we know that that. Uh, they're down there eating them we can't get them up in the water column up to the surface but it is it is helping them there you go a I like what Todd's catching nothing double hookups Like I said, it's up to you. Does he really? That's a good fish. Oh yeah, look at that one. Does that look like some filet? That looks like filet. Damn, you got lucky. Filet. Okay, it's supposed to be our New Year's. My sister got this crap. <laughs> I don't know what y'all's problem is. Yeah, I know what the problem is. Is we're using greenies and you're using shrimp. It's a nice haul of snapper. Folks, I had a lot of people ask me what I use to put on. Chad's got a decent fish. To put my GoPro down on the bottom, we use one of these Chum Kings. I've zip tied it to the to the top 